Hello, this is Dr. Mystic, and I want to continue our series on the life of St. Jude Thaddeus. And what we're going to look at in this episode is the miracle conversion of King Abgar of Edessa. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Dr. Mystic. I want to continue telling the story of St. Jude Thaddeus, and this is the, the, the heart, the heart of the story. The king of Edessa, King Abgar Ukama, which in Aramaic means Abgar the Black, he's heard that a holy man has arrived in Edessa and is doing miracles and signs and wonders. So he sends for him. And then when Thaddeus arrives, uh, King Abgar realizes that this is the man that Jesus promised to send him after the, the glorification of Jesus Christ. And uh, then Thaddeus or Mar Adai prays for King Abgar. King Abgar is healed, and then he's converted, and then he commands Thaddeus to preach the gospel to his subjects, which he does. Uh, this story is told in, in different sources. Eusebius' church history, and then the Aramaic version is called the Doctrine of Adai. And then we have other references to the story, uh, such as the, the uh, pilgrimage of Egeria. So I want to present this uh, dramatic portrayal of the, uh, the conversion of, of King Abgar and his sending uh, or commissioning Thaddeus to preach the gospel to his subjects. And this is the beginnings of the, the Syriac church, the Aramaic-speaking church and in particular of the Assyrian Church of the East and its offshoot, uh, the Chaldean Catholic Church, and uh, perhaps the Syrian Orthodox Church as well. That split took a lot, that, that, took, that split between this, the Church of the East and the uh, Syrian Orthodox Church, uh, that took place in the 400s. But uh, I think it's around 1500 that uh, the Chaldean Church broke off of the, uh, the Assyrian Church of the East. But... Uh, the Chaldean Church and the Aramaic Church, uh, they use the liturgy of, of Maradai. The Syrian Orthodox Church uses different uh, liturgies, but uh, they developed independently after the, the church split over questions of uh, how Jesus... Okay, they both believe that the Trinity, that, that Jesus is is the eternal son of God. But then they started arguing about how is Jesus, God, and man at the same time, and what does that mean? And they couldn't come to an agreement. And now, after 1,500 years, they, they still can't come to an agreement. And that's sad. Uh, Jesus said that he desires us to be one as he and his father are one. But you know what? We can still love each other, even if we belong to different de denominations. And uh, we can recognize that we're Christians <laughs> What is it? They have this song in the 70s. They shall know they are Christians by their love. So we can disagree with each other and belong to different denominations, but still recognize the grace of, of, of God that operates in our lives, the faith we have in Jesus Christ. Uh, not that differences aren't important, but the most important thing is have a relationship with God as our Father through Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God. So uh, this is the story, the heart of the story, uh, of the, and the story of the founding of the Assyrian Church of the East.
in Grant's car. An apostle of God has come and dwelt here. He is one of the ones that Jesus sent concerning you, saying, I will send to you one of my disciples. I saw him performing great miracles here in Edessa. Indeed, this is the one who Jesus sent unto me, saying, When I have ascended to heaven, I will send to you one of my disciples, and he will cure you of your illness. He's come at last. Send for him. We welcome you, most holy apostle. I am Abgar the king. Are you a man? Or an angel of God? Please do not worship me, for I'm a man just like yourself. Are you truly a disciple of Jesus, the Son of God, who said to me, I will send you one of my disciples, and he shall heal you and give you life? I am, and because you believed in him that sent me, therefore I am sent unto you. If you believe in him, the petitions of your heart will be granted you through your faith. Our Lord has fulfilled the will of his Father, and having fulfilled it, he has been taken up to his Father and sat down with him in glory, from whom he has been from eternity. I, I too have believed in him and his Father. Therefore, I put my hand upon you in his name. I'm healed! I'm healed! Believe in his miracles, brother. mind to take. Look, we have forsaken all we have, because it was instructed so by my Lord, without money bags or coins, bearing the cross upon our shoulders. We have been commanded to preach the Holy Gospel to the whole world, the crucifixion for our sakes, for the salvation of all men. Now, everyone knows you're a disciple of Jesus Christ, because no one could have done these things without Him. Tell us what you witnessed with Jesus and his disciples. I cannot keep silent on this matter. It's for this very reason I came to this place. The entire city is invited to come together tomorrow and listen to me preach the good news.